definitely didn't deserve this. Didn't deserve the way her life ended, says Ryan Hatlin, the father of 19-year-old Riley. She could do whatever she, she put her mind to. She was young, but she was ambitious. Early Sunday morning, Portland police roped off streets in the Pearl District for hours. I found out like 40 hours later. Officers say Riley was shot and died at the scene, despite the efforts of first responders. I heard that there was a big gun battle. I heard there was like 20 to 40 shots and she was sitting in a car, not even having anything to, you know, to, to do with it. On Thursday, flashing lights were replaced with pictures, candles, and messages of love, a memorial for Riley. She was absolutely amazing. She was a bright light to everyone. She had a smile that can light up the room. Uh, she was just amazing. Ryan says Riley was smart. She graduated a year early from high school with her brother. She loved sports. She played soccer as a kid and ran track and field. I still think I'm in shock. I definitely go on waves and, and you know, I, I think about the good things and the beautiful things and, you know, the way she smiled rather than her final moments. You know, if I try to think about that, I think it's pretty difficult and pretty, pretty rough. I don't think anyone should have, you know, should die like that. And while he has so many precious memories, they've now become clouded with questions. Life short, you know, don't take it for granted. You love your kids, you know, call them every day, tell them you love them. You might not get the chance tomorrow. Now at this time, Portland police haven't arrested anyone for her murder. Officers encouraging people who were in the area near Northwest Broadway and Davis around 2 a.m. on Sunday to reach out to detectives. We'll have the case number on KGW.com. David.